the tuba played by Jennifer Miranda, yeah. is a tangible um, proof of the support of our music department for Wellesley Blue Jazz. Thank you so much. We said, we've got a tuba player. We need a tuba. And it really adds so much to the uh, bottom end of the band. We know that uh, um, uh, the great Gil Evans and others pioneered these, having these sonorities low and high. And we love having our clarinets back there and our tuba, our high and our low. Thank you so much. My name is Cersei Miller. I'm the Jazz and World Music Program Coordinator here at Wellesley College. And I want to welcome you all to our Fall Wellesley Blue Jazz Big Band Concert. Um, the Jazz and World Music Program encompasses Wellesley Blue Jazz, which you see before you, and the Blue Jazz Combos and Strings. They played a couple weeks ago before Thanksgiving. Great concert under the direction of Paula Zeitlin. And of course, Jan Valu Drum and Dance Ensemble under the direction of Kara Washington, and they will be playing here tomorrow night. So please come back and hear Jan Valu. They're fantastic. Um, but tonight you'll be listening to our large jazz ensemble. Every fall, we have to build a new version of it because those blue jazz members will persist in graduating in the spring. So we are so thrilled. I'm going to embarrass you all. All our new members, please stand up. All our new members, please stand up so you can see. Yeah. Come out. Come out of there, family. Yeah. So this is, this is what cheers us up every fall. We get this wonderful group of new musicians. And uh, you're going to hear how ready they are to go tonight. You're going to be hearing solos from all these new members, as well as our wonderful veteran blue jazz players this evening, because our motto in blue jazz is, let's take a chorus. Let's do it, OK? So we're, on that note, we're going to start right off um, <clears throat> with Cubano chant. And on this piece, we're featuring uh, Chen Shu on piano, one of our new pianists. And, Victoria Quinn on keyboard, one of our also new members, as well as Olivia Davis on trumpet and, and Gray on Devlin on alto sax.
What? Where? Dad, dare! <laughs> I'm going to feature quite a few soloists in this wonderful Bobby Timmons hard bop classic. And we're going to feature uh, Victoria Quinn on piano. And we are going to feature Jennifer Miranda on that wonderful tuba. And you will hear why we love it so. And then Rachel Fraser on French horn, one of our seniors. Rachel used to single-handedly hold down the trombone section. <laughs> one French horn used to be our Tessa knows our trombone section while a while back. And so now we actually have this fantastic trombone section. Woo! A real section. We're going to feature Susanna Gianola, another senior, on alto saxophone, and Maddie on trumpet back there. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you. 
Patty Smith on trumpet. Well, we are going to, uh, we, we borrowed Nicole Lung from the Blue Jazz Combos program, wonderful pianist, to come in and play this classic Milestones with us now. And on this, we are gonna feature Olivia Davis again on trumpet, and one of our brand new members, the wonderful Ella Chung on tenor saxophone. And um, if any of you last year, I don't know if you, any of you here attended the um, incredible Ingrid Jensen, Steve Tressler concert that we had here featuring the music of Kenny Wheeler. And we all enjoyed so much working with them in one of our fantastic residencies that again, we so appreciate the department um, helping us with. And at that, uh, we met Steve Tressler, great tenor player. And then I got an email from him later and he said, one of my students is coming to Wellesley. And I was, yes. And there she is, Ella Chung. So we're very, very happy to have that connection. Milestones.
Nicole Lung and Ella Chung. Okay. Now is the time we're going to feature one of our seniors on the next piece, this beautiful, evocative, noir piece. It's got a lot of one minor major sevens, right, Joan? <laughs> Harlem Nocturne. And we're going to feature Maura Shea, one of our seniors. Now, one thing we like to do in Wellesley Blue Jazz, we really like to encourage everyone to try out improvisation. We have a lot of players that join the band um, that have never improvised before. Actually, would anybody who was in that situation when they first joined the band raise their, raise their hand? A lot. A lot of our band members um, and our alumni um, we're in that situation, and we encourage everyone because there's such joy in getting to improvise. And then we do a lot of workshopping um, in the band to create those different solo sections and make them different, interesting, and contrast and effective um, instead of just reading the chart down and saying, okay, here's another solo for tenor one, another solo for alto one, another solo for trumpet two, which, you know, it doesn't spread the joy around as much. So we do a lot of that, and on a tune like this in particular, written by Charles Mingus, who was the great workshopper of improvisation, the great bassist. 
we really take our time to dig it apart and find spots for different parts of the band. And this evening we're going to feature our clarinet section back there, Eleanor Klitsky and Caitlin Pearson. <laughs> Woohoo! Two of our first years. We're also going to feature our towering trombones over there, Molly McCall and Brianna White. And then we said, well, because this is a Charles Mingus piece and trombone was so important in his, his group, um, we are going to feature our entire trombone section on a collective improvisation. Um, we're not? What? <laughs> well, it was a good idea. <laughs> Okay. I'm so sorry. Let's rip a little. I'm, I'm rewinding that. I'm rewinding that. Actually, we're not going to do that at all. We're going to feature two trombones. Then we're going to feature, of course, our bassist, because Charles Mingus was bassist. Leo McDonald on bass. And Leo um, and Bob Savine back there, Bob. They really, really keep us going, keep us honest, and keep us going like an engine day and night in the jazz program. And we, again, thank the college for their support in letting us have these wonderful accompanists. So obviously with Charles Mingus, we're going to feature Leo. And let me just look at my notes here for a minute. And then we are going to feature Lauren Kolodny on bass trombone. <laughs> on not only on a, solo, a great solo, but also on the lead, because again, that's that's the Mingus sound. So we'll have to wait for the collective trombone solo until a little later. But you will get one. Don't worry. Here we go. We're going to have Leo start us off. Thank you. 
I'll tell you, I can remember trying to do Mingus charts without that trombone section. <laughs> it was very, very hard. And we have to give a shout out to our private uh, lesson instructors because they do an amazing job with our students. And Mark Hamilton has been working closely with um, this almost this whole section and coming in like the third base coach or is it, what's the important, the first base coach, the second base coach? I don't know, whoever the important one is, they come in and uh, the teachers come and help us, Tom Dupre working with our trumpet players and um, Russ Hoppin with our pianist. By the way, that was Fangwen. Fangwen, come back out. I didn't announce yet. Fangwen Chia on piano on uh, Harlem Nocturne in that piece. Now we're going to do a uh, Pat Matheny chart, beautiful chart, in 12-8, um, entitled Afternoon. And we're going to feature Sarah Most. Now I'm going to embarrass Sarah because Sarah is a trumpet player, as you can see. We're very excited whenever we get a new trumpet. And Sarah emailed me because it was just um, our clarinet people and um, our two trumpet players at the beginning of the year. and. Sarah emailed me one afternoon, I'm sitting in my office, and she said, I play trumpet. I started looking at the email. She goes, I play trumpet, and you know, I was thinking of joining the, the big band next semester, if that's okay, and I emailed her right back, and I said, get in here. <laughs> Didn't I, Sarah? Didn't I like email you right back and say, mm, I think we have an opening. Can you come by like in a minute? And she did, and She's awesome, and uh, we said, you've got to have this nice solo here in this, and we're also going to feature Susanna Gianola on this. Thank you. 
I don't want to reveal when I heard Herbie Hancock play this live. Be, well, all right. You twisted my arm. I went to the Howard University Theater because I thought it was Herbie Hancock who's going to be playing tunes from like Taken Off, Maiden Voyage, you know, the um, beautiful early Blue Note recordings. No, it was full steam ahead. Fusion was already, and I didn't know it was happening. Herbie Hancock came out with a thing strapped on, keyboard, and like long bell bottoms, and he was playing Chameleon. That's what happened. I was like, wait, what happened to Maiden Voyage? Anyway, we love the tune, and this is the tune where you get to hear the trombones, okay? And other awesome low end. I love the low end, and we're going to hear from Brianna Perry on Baritone <laughs> And we're also going to hear on a low from Alex C on tenor saxophone. And then higher up on Rachel Fraser on French horn. And, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong tune. We're only going to hear from the trombone section after Annabelle. Ullman plays a gorgeous solo. Um, and, of course, Brianna. So, never mind. I'm just not doing a good job with my notes tonight. But you're going to hear a lot of great notes. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Here we go, Chameleon.
thank you so much for coming out this evening and joining us. And um, I hope you will come back tomorrow night and hear the marvelous Jan Velou under the direction of Kara Washington. And that we'll see you again next spring when we'll be doing a couple of different events. Usually we do a pub night with WPI, jazz band, and some other things. Um, but I have to give a couple of thank yous at this point. Um, we have so much gratitude to the Wellesley College Department of Music, Germander Bogle Chair, to our wonderful um, performance faculty director, Eliko Akihori, and to um, Isabel Fine, our concert manager, um, to Magdalene Christian, who makes every day a better day, to Gerardo Ortiz, who's around here somewhere and helps us with all these stands and chairs and everything that we use, and to our ushers, our fabulous ushers, and um, to, I want to thank personally also our Blue Jazz assistant, Rachel Fraser, for all the hard work. That she She's amazing. And Annabelle Ullman made our spam and our, we, it's, it's a real group effort here. Also, many of our students perform and um, really hone their improvisational skills in our combo program under the direction of Paula Zeitlin, who is, um, you know, our also one of the most important parts of the Jazz and World Music program. So thanks to Paula for everything that she does. In fact, Paula helped me. Paula helped me when I was ordering the refreshments for tonight, and I just didn't know what to choose. Like, just do this, this, and this. Thank you, Paula. So we will have refreshments out there um, afterwards. Please join us. We love to meet you and greet you and, and uh, hear from you. And uh, also, we might want to add that we thank our families um, and the parents for supporting us here and supporting these students. So thank you so much for all that you do and all the music lessons you gave them before they came here, too. Thank you. Um, so without further ado, we're going to close it off here with Burke's Works. This is the song that I was talking about before. We're going to hear from Alex C. on tenor saxophone. And we are going to hear from, um, oops, wrong page. You know, it's just been that time of year where I got to have notes. Who else are we we are going to hear from Rachel Fraser on tenor, on tr French horn, and Susanna Gianola on, and Brianna Perry. You're going to hear from a lot of great people, so here we go. Burke's Works.
Thank you. We'll see you out in the foyer. Thanks again for coming. <laughs>